to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi, so glad you're here. I am a licensed therapist on this channel and do my best to help you laugh because crap is holding you back. All right. <laughs> and so this is a place to be if you're wanting some free insight from a licensed professional, me. In honor of Pride Month, I'm going to be dedicating this video to those individuals who identify as LGBTQ, and I'm also going to be talking about how you can be a better ally for those of you who do not identify as LGBTQ, but do have friends and family who do, all right? All while I try to do a rainbow look, which I've never done before, so wish me luck. And those of you who are new, please don't judge too much. Not a makeup artist. Right then. Moving on. Let's see what a mess I can make out of this today. Root for me, okay? I'm going to attempt to do this rainbow eye look in an effort to show my support to those of you out there who do identify as part of the LGBT community in hopes that I might help people out there who are not identifying as such to help them learn how to be a bit more supportive and also to offer you guys some encouragement if you do and if you're struggling right now. All right, so my eyebrows are done and my eyes are primed. Let's do this. I'm really excited and scared at the same time. So thanks for being with me right then. So while Pride Month is supposed to be a month of celebration for many people out there who have not yet come out or maybe they have come out, may not have the support of their family and friends and might be facing feeling some isolation and loneliness. All right, so for those of you out there who are feeling that way, there are people that are here for you, all right? And I'm gonna put down in the description some links to some resources that could be helpful. So check that out if that's you. Also, I realize that there are many people out there that are hesitant to seek out help because of discrimination they have faced in the past, all right? So this is why it's important to look at those resources so that you can find qualified people that are accepting and educated who are willing to support you any way they can, all right? Now, for those of you who are not a part of the community, it's important that you understand the discrimination they have faced when seeking help from providers. LGBTQ individuals are three times likely to experience mental health struggles. With lack of support, it can definitely exasperate their troubles. Now, of course, I'm talking to those people out there who are supportive of their family members or friends. And if you are watching this and you are not supportive of your friend or family member, then I'm also going to encourage you to go to therapy and explore what's going on with you. So you can stop being an asshole. No offense. So I think I've already screwed this up but whatever. If you are trying to be a better ally, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is to educate yourself as much as possible. Challenge yourself and your assumptions or preconceived ideas about people who identify as LGBTQ. Not being educated can shut down communication with your friend or family member. Also, lack of education can certainly lead to microaggressions, which can leave your friend or family member feeling pretty crappy, all right? So don't do that. So I'm gonna move on to the blue, see how this goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I know a lot of people out there are struggling with these new bills that are being introduced in, in several states. All the more reason to reach out for help with a professional. You can get some tools on how to navigate those emotions that are inevitably gonna come up as a result of all this nonsense. I wanna remind you that you're a champion, all right? You are a champion. You know I can't help myself. You are a champion. No time for phobics, cause you are a champion, my friend. <laughs> Myself. I just can't help it. For those of you who are not out yet, therapy can help you with that, help you decide whether or not that's something that's going to benefit you or not. It's also important for those of you who do identify as LGBTQ, not to pressure people who are not out yet. All right, you got to stop doing that. Not everybody has the same experiences as you and it's very scary. So be patient and try not to judge. How am I doing? You like it so far? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know if I should be blending this or not. 
I am very confused. Besides individual counseling, family therapy could be also an option. If you're struggling to come out, for instance, and you think that you're ready, sometimes doing it in family counseling can be helpful, but you would have to talk to your counselor about that to see how that could look in your situation because every situation is unique. Just know there's help out there is basically all I'm saying. Out there somewhere, over the rainbow. Over the rainbow, way up high. Now I'm gonna try this cut crease thing. Let's see how it goes. I think my camera stopped. Shit. So, being a better ally means acknowledging your privilege, being aware of your biases, challenging them, even though it might be uncomfortable for you. All right, you gotta get over that if you really wanna help your friend or family member. Ask yourself why it's uncomfortable for you. What's going on there? What's that about? Confront it, and if you find yourself resistant to it, then you know I'm bad. All right, I am also going to remind you to learn the language. We're all guilty of using the incorrect terms. So if someone corrects you, don't be an asshole and get all offended, all right? We don't know all the things. I feel like I'm conquering it. I don't know. Am I gonna champion over it? You are a champion. You are a champion. No more time for phobics. Also, I have to add, you have to respect people's confidentiality. So if it's been shared with you, don't assume that it's common knowledge, all right? Ask the person. Don't assume. Assumptions get you in trouble. Be honest, do I look completely ridiculous? I just want to support people out there, even if it means me making a fool out of myself. I don't care. As an ally, it's important that you identify what homophobia, biphobia, transphobia looks like. I mean, sometimes we just don't even realize it because it's not something that we deal with. Sometimes it's obvious and blatant, but sometimes there are just those little microaggressions that we don't catch. So if someone brings it to your attention, listen, don't dismiss it. They're coming to you because they feel safe with you and they trust you. So don't ignore that. It's important. Oh man, I forgot the orange. Man, I didn't mean to leave you out here. Let me see if I can go over it. Somewhere over the... Ooh, I brightened that yellow up. Looks good. For some of you who may not know, sexuality and gender are not the same thing. All right, I know it might be difficult for some of you to wrap your brain around that, but try. Sexuality is about who we find attractive and gender identity is how we see our gender. All right. You can also lobby for inclusive work spaces. So if you work at a company, read their policy and procedures and see if it needs to be updated to be more inclusive. You know, we got to keep up with the times, people. You can't see the orange. I'm sorry, orange. Didn't mean to leave me out. Well, I tried. Also, you want to make sure that women-only spaces include trans women. All right. And if that makes you uncomfortable, you know what I'm going to tell you. First of all, you know, talk to somebody about it so you can get over yourself. And again, it's none of your damn business. It's not the dark ages. All right. What do you guys think? Is it a hot mess? Be honest. So it's important to be aware of and mindful of that some people who are out, some people who have come out as trans or in the process of, you know, treatment, especially youths, are not only dealing with that, many of them have been kicked out of their home and a homeless. So not only are they dealing with being isolated and rejected by their own family, they're also just trying to survive. So have a heart, have some compassion volunteer, do what you can, speak out, something. You gotta treat each other as human beings because that's what we are. So stop being ignorant. Now, to those of you who are out, who have had the acceptance and experience of family support, have gotten help, you too have to challenge yourselves in terms of your expectations of others who are not in the same place as you are, which is something that I think I mentioned earlier, but not scripted. <laughs> Some of these individuals are still wanting to convince others to accept them and their family. So they might have difficulty setting boundaries with their family because they're seeking that acceptance, right? And they don't want to be ostracized from the family. Try not to shame them because they're already experiencing enough of that already. Be patient with them. Just be supportive of them. 
which I think for the most part, I don't need to say, but there are people out there that, you know, can't see past their own nose and they can only go by what they've experienced and they think that everybody else should be the same way, which is not cool. All right. Now I've got a few more things I'd like to touch on today. Just don't go anywhere. But before I do, if you're liking this content so far, you're finding it helpful, then let me know. If it pissed you off, also let me know. For allies, friends, and family, you have to understand that sexual identity, gender identity is not all that person is. So while it is a very big part of their life, that's not all they are. So don't make it all about that. And if you have a hard time doing that, you know what I'm going to say. I feel like I need to add glitter or something. Why not? Let's sparkle, shall we? Ooh, sparkle! This reminds me of Rainbow Bright. So I'm still unsure about this blush placement. So if you see something I need to correct, please let me know. I still don't have any idea what I'm doing. For my LGBTQ viewers, did I miss anything important that you would like to share? Please let me know. Don't hesitate, okay? This is a safe place and you are accepted. I'm gonna finish this off camera because I'm gonna try to do my eyeliner. <laughs> we'll see if I mess it up. So don't go anywhere. All right, stay put. I'll be right back. All right, I had to change my shirt because that other one wasn't working for me. And I'm not done with my lips, but I remembered there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. If you identify as LGBTQ and you're struggling and you are the victim of harassment, discrimination, rejection, or your family has disowned you, remember how others treat you says more about them than it does about you. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but sometimes I think it can help just to remember that. It doesn't have anything to do with your sexuality or how you identify in terms of your gender. Everything to do with that person's issues. Whatever those might be, how they were raised, their fears, their phobias, all the things. So just try to remember that and know that there is help out there for you. And if you struggle with that, let me know. You can visit my website, find out more about me and the other clinicians at Venus Springs and what they have to offer. And if you're not in Texas and you're in need of resources of any kind, reach out to us. We'll do what we can to find resources for you. We're here for you. And you're beautiful and you're loved. And don't let anybody ever tell you any different. You're a champion. Sing it. You are a champion. You are a champion. No time for phobics. Because you are a champion. My friend. That's right. You're a champion. Don't forget it. And for those of you who are friends and family of someone who identifies as LGBTQ and you notice any signs that that person is depressed or having difficulty socializing or having difficulty communicating or seem shut down, offer your help. Reach out to them. Talk to them. Don't make it about their sexuality or gender. Ask them if they're okay. Ask them if they need to talk. Ask them if there's anything that you can do or anything that they might need from you. Give them an opportunity to know that you're there and that you're supporting them. All right. Well, I hope today was helpful, informative, and encouraging. And if so, let me know, like this video, or subscribe to the channel. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. I think I did a good job. I'm gonna try this this setting powder also. Like, let's see how this. Do I need more blush? I don't know. I feel like I need more sparkle. Do I need more sparkle? I think I need more sparkle. Let's give this a go. More sparkle.